Hi, welcome to fourth lecture in the series of audio and speech signal processing. You can also download the source code of this video uh, and you can go through our web page uh, at uh, www.jcbrolabs.org. In the previous video, we talked about the spectral analysis uh, of the speech signal. So when we talk about speech analysis or sound analysis, generally uh, speech processing or sound processing is done at two levels that is utterance level and frame levels utterance level means uh, if we just speak out a single sentence and every processing is done on the entire uh, entire length of the sample size sample while in the case of uh, frame level we decompose uh, the entire speech in small parts and those small parts of sound is known as frame that could be uh, generally used uh, frame size of 25 milliseconds uh, duration and then we apply algorithm on each duration and then takes out the result from them. So these two things are commonly used. While there is no special um, processing needs to be applied at uh, utterance level because all the sample or all the data uh, processing is done at once while in the case of frame level the entire speech has to be breaked up into a small portions or in a small frames so in this video we will mainly concentrate about framing and then uh, we'll go for the pre-processing kind of techniques which we used in speech processing specifically windowing techniques and the pre-emphasis so let's first talk about a frame uh, or framing concept so open MATLAB in MATLAB let's first uh, load our file so as we have discussed earlier we can load our file by the command audio read and then this much of duration So let's see how a complete signal looks like. So this is the complete signal of 31,000 samples or nearly 32,000 samples looks like. So if we want to do some spectral analysis, we can just directly apply FFT and can take out a certain information related to this sound like pitch and fundamental frequency. But there are certain things uh, within this sound which uh, should not be present while doing a speech pressing. Those are the unvoiced samples or the silence part in a speech. Because uh, when we speak, most of the part is the silence. So sometimes this silence portions uh, adds up some ambiguity in the processing. So uh, we, so it is general practice to decompose this entire sound into small portions of the frame. So let's say uh, take out a single frame. Let's we will take out a single frame from it. Uh, so for taking out a single frame it is uh, simple like uh, a small number of samples out of this 32,000. So let's say we want to make a frame of 25 millisecond duration only. First thing. Uh, you can go up to 20 millisecond, 30 millisecond. There is no boundary on it. And it is purely uh, optional to everyone's choice. So let's take, we take the duration of 25 millisecond. Let's take. So we'll take 25 millisecond uh, duration speech from that particular uh, from complete whole data. So if we are making a 25 millisecond duration, then we need to know how much samples will be there in 25 millisecond. So number of sample size can be simply by uh, can be simply obtained by this uh, duration multiplied by sampling frequency. So we can represent in f size. So it can be said like frame size. So FD multiply by FS. So this we look at this. Let's look at this frame size. So this frame size comes out to be 400 samples. That means uh, if we want to take 25 millisecond duration of sound for further processing, we just need to extract the 400 samples uh, from uh, from the data. So as we are doing some uh, demo on it, so we'll take any uh, 400 data of it. So let's say frame represent by this. So data of 
2001 to 2001 plus frame size. So now we have a frame of 400 data duration and let's uh, see how it looks like. So plot FR. So this is the small portion of the sound which we generally call a frame and then we can further apply the same processing techniques like uh, spectral analysis or pitch calculation or anything on it. So this uh, was the first part uh, of this uh, speech processing that is how to do framing or it could be so we can say like it is a first uh, starting portion of the pre-processing uh, before doing actual processing on it on the specific. So, uh, uh, the next part comes uh, like windowing technique. So, if you are familiar with DSP, then you may have heard about the term windowing. And there are several windows like Blackman window, Hamming window, Smith window, and many more. So, this particular windows are used to uh, remove uh, these type of uh, abrupt changes in the signal at the end of the signal. So when we take out a small portion of the frame from a complete land, so it is like an abrupt change, or, uh, our sequence has been truncated. So if the sequence is being truncated, then uh, there is a Gibbs phenomena kind of thing or the spectral leakage concept uh, uh, in a spectrum domain. We are not going into the detail of it, but uh, you should uh, go through the DSP concepts uh, for better understanding of this, why we do there. So, the second concept comes uh, which comes in pre-processing part is the windowing. Windowing means we will apply certain window on this uh, sample signal and time domain and then we will move to for the further processing. So generally used window in uh, any speech processing is Hamming window. So we go for a Hamming window uh, most of the times in uh, signal processing. So let's say uh, let's plot how the hamming window looks like so hamming the simple term hamming and the uh, we should give the length of the size like how much sample we want in hamming window so we just want to multiply it with the frame size so the frame size duration will be as that of the uh, uh, the frame length uh, because we want to multiply it with the frame so the windows length should be equal to the frame length so, so it looks like uh, this is the framing window hamming window so a starting portion will be multiplied near about 0 0.1 so the abrupt changes will become up to 0 so let's multiply it so we are applying a hamming window on a uh, frame so this frame window this frame and multiply by hamming because each sample multiply with each samples of the hamming window that is why we are using this column and so our window it sample is there so we can have a look how our signal differ after applying this uh, uh, hamming window on the on frame so hold on and then plot fr score win and then and black. so it's uh, it's say the middle portion is same nearly same but the amplitude of the at the ends has been shrunk uh, in larger amount so and that was also visible from the uh, uh, shape of the hamming window so this portion being multiplied by uh, 0 0.1 value and uh, those values comes uh, as comes to be near about 0. So it is like there is no sharp changes at the ends of the signal and uh, this signal seems to be smooth uh, for further processing. So there is also a changes uh, in uh, spectrum domain as well. So let's see how the spectrum uh, differ uh, for both the cases that means without window uh, frame without window and frame after being applied with window uh, hamming window so that's absolute value of 50 of fr comma hold on plot 
slår väl i och fast den av. So this red portion shows the spectrum uh, after applying hamming window and this blue shows the spectrum uh, of the frame without hamming window. So the frequency component which come uh, at higher frequency component which seems to be a larger portion because uh, due to the sharp truncation it seems like higher frequency components are present in, in the signal but in real which are not. So by applying this uh, uh, hamming window we reduce all this uh, we reduce this all higher frequency component to near to zero so this is one of the application of this uh, uh, windowing uh, window technique and uh, this is also part of the pre-processing of this one uh, of, uh, in a space signal processing another concept used in pre-processing that is the pre-emphasis of the frames pre-emphasis means uh, Pre-emphasis means, uh, let's uh, have a look on the graph, there are two concepts, pre-emphasis and uh, de-emphasis. So pre-emphasis, generally this concept is used in communication. Uh, actually what we do, we increase the strength of the higher frequency component and while taking the lower frequency component at the same level. So this is generally uh, due in order to make the spectrum nearly equal for all the frequency components. So and there's uh, the same concept we used in space signal as well. So for each frame, we apply a pre-emphasis filter, uh, and then uh, we uh, we apply a pre-emphasis filter for all the frames, and then we do uh, further processing on it. So for pre-emphasis, uh, it is a kind of a high pass filter and generally used uh, pre-emphasis filter coefficients uh, in space signal processing is 1 and minus 0 0.95. So let's take it, take them as it is. So let's take how this uh, its border plot looks like. So we can uh, see the response of this pre-emphasis filter in a border plot so it is a all zero filter so first zero will be there and then uh, numerator part is one and then. so uh, if you want to work in sp signal processing you need to have a uh, you should have uh, some solid concept of dsp only then you can understand all this thing so this uh, border plot shows the amplitude response with respect to the frequency so up to 1 hertz so there is no change in the frequency its uh, cutoff uh, comes out to be near about 1 hertz and then it's linearly increase up to 100 hertz or above it so the same uh, we can apply this pre-emphasis filter to our frame simple by filter command or by uh, filtering the frame with this one so let's say x is the uh, signal which we will get after filtering so filter and then the signal which we want to filter out so now X contains the uh, uh, frame after pre-emphasis filter applied so let's see how the signal looks like so there's a clearly visible like a signal has been changed uh, by much amount let's see and then hold on and then plot x this was the original windowed signal and the blue curve shows the signal after applying a pre-emphasis filter so in this uh, case in time domain it seems like everything has been shrunk but uh, let's look uh, in frequency domain so clc plot fft of fr underscore window slow value of fft of fr underscore window comma hold on and then plot absolute
so the amplitude this shows the amplitude part uh, frequency spectrum so if we'll uh, have a look at this blue curve shows the windowed fft and this red curve shows after applying pre emphasis so in case of pre emphasis the higher frequency component has been increased uh, with respect to the amplitude of the lower frequency components so uh, from this figure it seems like the lower frequency component have been reduced back but uh, if we see only the plot of the FFT or frame faces filter, the relative increase or the relative difference in amplitude between the lower frequency component and higher frequency component is less as compared to the previous one. And that is mainly because we have increased the strength of the signal or we have increased the strength of higher frequency components present in the signal. And that is generally uh, used to do uh, as a case of uh, transmission uh, medium, noise generally affects the higher frequency component. So we generally uh, boost up the uh, signal strength as higher frequency component so that uh, everything, every frequency component gets the same opportunity to take part in uh, further processing. So these are some of the pre-processing uh, pre techniques which is generally used in uh, uh, while doing speech processing and all these three techniques framing windowing and pre-emphasis are uh, makes uh, makes a complete part of pre-processing uh, for doing the same we have created some of the functions like framing so in this framing you can just simple add the data length sampling frequency and duration and then this uh, function will return all the frames uh, uh, in row in row wise and then uh, we have a second function that is pre-process so this pre-process done uh, it applies Hamming window to all the frames and then applies this pre-processing uh, pre-emphasis filter to all the frames uh, present in the signal so all this code uh, will uh, you can download all these codes and function from our website that is www.jcbrolabs.org and you can also go through the detailed description of this video from our web lecture series on the same website so i hope you have understand how to do framing and windowing and pre-emphasis and why uh, we do all these things for space signal processing so that's it for this video. Thank you.